Um, but let's transition to the Padres now, because kind of the Mets or Padres are kind of in that same category, except it's worse because they lost again last night. Again, the Mets at least got a win. Padres are 20 and 24. They've lost 8 of 10, and Manny Machado has a fracture somewhere in his hand. We don't know how bad that's going to be. Alex, what's your read on where they are now? Well, it, it, it's kind of, for me, it's kind of the same thing with the Mets. You know, two teams that have tremendous expectations going into the season based on their seasons uh, last year and their off seasons going into this year, and they've kind of fallen flat or just n not living up to those expectations. Being around 500 doesn't really bother me over the course of the first couple of months because I look back at some of the teams I was on that we did really well, and, and that after the first couple of months, you know, we were hanging around 500 in some of those teams as well. For me, it's it, it's all about the expectations and dealing with them after having a season like they did last year, both teams, the Padres and the Mets, where, you know, like, I've heard Buck talking about where it's like you go into the season, new coaching staff, new manager, you have some new players, not really sure how the season's going to go, it's just kind of see how it goes, and then you, you succeed. Now you're going into a season having already succeeded, achieved your goal, now you want to take the next step right. with the bullseye on your back. How do you, as a collective unit, yep. Handle that kind of expectation going in, and that's what both teams I feel like are trying to figure out. See, and Rob, you were uh, you were even the voice of reason with Mad Dog because I heard you because Dog said you know Padres got to worry about the Diamondbacks, the, the Dodgers are gone. I don't think the Dodgers are gone. No, I don't. There's so much. Pa there's so much all throughout this. The Padres, even if they lose Machado, there's no excuse here. They've got too much firepower. 100. percent And when you look at the numbers of the guys. Bogart's batting, what, 208 and Machado, 217. Those aren't their real numbers. If you well, think Bogart's has been much better than that. Bogart's no, better. Maybe just, late. Right. Late. But I'm just but saying, no, but if you good. look at those numbers and you think that's where they're going to be when the season's done, you're crazy. And last year, the Dodgers ran away, won all those games, right? And then they got they beat lost. in right. the postseason because their pitching was up to par and big time and mm -hmm. showed up in the postseason. This is a good team. They are going to be in the mix, and they have a chance to win a championship when everything gets right. The, bi the biggest thing for both teams, though, is just the divisions that they're playing. Because when I look back, like the 2012 team that I was on in Detroit, we went to the World Series. We were uh, uh, under 500 through May, and we ended up going to the World Series. But we weren't in a very good division. Yeah, Braves and Dodgers will not allow Bra that. Braves and yeah. Dodgers won't allow that. You have the Diamondbacks. You have the Phillies. Mm -hmm. I mean, the divisions are a little bit better. That's what worries me, though. But and there's yet, more I, than enough room in the wild card, sure. actually. Like they, right. the, there's an extra ways, team now. The, right. the, the, the National League, they're lucky just to be in the NL. The worst team in the NL, which is still the Cardinals, It's only four and a half games back of the last wild card mm -hmm. spot. So you're right. They're absolutely still hanging around. I would be, in some ways, more concerned about the Padres than the Mets just because they've mortgaged their future so many times over to get these stars they don't right. really have a lot of help coming up we're seeing what a spark that young talent can be for the Mets just last night the Padres don't necessarily have that all of their top five prospects are high a or lower they don't have anyone well, they, home they've grown. emptied it over <laughs> and o roster? they've emptied the yes, farm system exactly. over and over again they, like, this they, is the team yeah, they, I'm so, give me something then what's what is this again I, I try to look at actual production and actual facts that are there mm -hmm. but there see there is also I, I acknowledge there is a team energy that the old guard used to talk about all the time that's is Still this do. what's lacking with the Padres <laughs> something is not there they're yeah. under 500 there there is I, I mean I think they are in some ways as top heavy as they see. They have all this star power, but they're giving a lot of at-bats to guys who aren't Manny Machado, who's not, actually not performing great, but who's not Juan Soto, who's not Tatis, who's not Xander Bogarts. And I don't think, yeah, they, they're, they, it's not so much the construction. We're not seeing it play out in the ways we necessarily thought it would. It's not like, oh my gosh, there's so many shortstops, they're all running out to the left of the infield and they can't get out of each other's way. But it does feel like this is a, a little bit of a slap Together, right. team. They, they did They're get, on their fifth full-time manager I'm, since I'm, AJ Preller took over. They're I'm, trying to change the vibe a lot. I just want to underline that because I did wonder again. Bogarts has been great, so there's no excuse there. Right. Bogarts was, has been their best player, and he's fielding well. But they did have Tatis and Hassan Kim both. Hassan Kim is a plus plus fielder. Tatis should be able to field the position at his age, and yet they got Bogarts. So there are guys in weird spots, right? Yeah. But, but also, I think we got to be careful. Last year, we saw the Phillies get off to a, a slow start. They made yep. it all the way to the World Series, and they turned things around. It's a long season. Because they have yep. talent. Yep. And, 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 uh, and, and Bryce Harper was a big part of that. And these guys, if they turn it on at any time and they start to click and these guys are starting to perform, 
to me, they're going to be viable. You can't. This is baseball. You agree? We're in May. I've, I've always been of, of the mindset of talent always wins out. In the always. Year. Well, I, I, yes, and I said that for the White Sox all last year. Like, there's too much production. And Something it else never, wrong there. I it agree. never quite got there. I don't know if the Padres are in that boat, but you have to, it happens. Well, at least in that clubhouse within that organization, you have to believe that the talent ends up you know, coming out in the end and being able to perform to the levels that they're supposed yeah. to. You I would mean, think. We're yeah. not around them every day, and I'm certainly not around right. them all the time. They're on the other side of the coast. But they don't seem like they're having as much fun as they should be for a it, team. When that you're losing, really you're never having yeah, yeah. Usually it's ro they're rollicking, and the fans, the fans right. were that, booing. With fans booing? Boom. Like, that, whoa, that has not happened. That, last year, yeah. it was a party Ooh, scene. Yeah. Are you kidding yeah. me with the chains and the home runs? And, yeah. and people enjoyed every minute. It was loud. It was great.